Hey, welcome back. Today I have a fun little welding project planned. I'm going to weld two of these chain grab hooks onto the bucket of my Kubota B2601 compact tractor. It's a little bit drizzly today, so I'm going to do this inside the garage. Whatever you do, don't forget to fold down your rocks. So I'm going to pull in and actually remove the bucket. I'm going to set it down on a couple of milk crates, which are surprisingly strong. How many times were you taught by someone older and wiser to take your time and do things right, not to rush? Well, I didn't tuck in my microphone wire. I just kind of draped it along the side, hopped off the tractor, yanked it right apart. That, my friends, is about a hundred dollar mistake. One thing that's important when welding these hooks to your bucket, other than actually knowing how to weld, is to weld them in line with the rails of your front end loader. If you mount them to the outside of the bucket, then when you pick something up, you could rack the tractor, possibly tip it over. So it's important to be within those rail distances. Now I've already marked my bucket and I'm gonna grind off the paint and we'll put them in place with a magnet clamp and start some welding. So looking straight down on the bucket, you can see that my mark here is in line with the rail of the loader. And we're gonna mount the hook right about there. So I've got this 20 volt DeWalt mini grinder. It does a decent job for small projects. Batteries don't last too long, but uh, you know, you can get a couple grinds out of it. By the way, did you notice I have this fancy white lavalier microphone on now? So since I'm gonna paint this anyway, I'm gonna grind off the paint so my ground has good contact. Now, full disclosure here, I'm not a welder. I probably don't even need to tell you that because you're gonna figure that out for yourself in just a moment. doesn't get much uglier than that. So just to be clear, I did mention that I'm not a welder, right? But for those who are interested, I'm using a Hobart Handler 140, standard household current welder, 120 volt, and I'm using O30 flux core wire. Uh, it is a MIG welder if you have the gas, which I do, but I'm almost empty, so I'm just sticking with the flux core. I have heard, seen on the internet, read that flux core can give you better penetration. I don't know, I don't want to start any controversies, but I've heard that 
And again, we're not going for looks here. You always want to do your best, but um, I am doing my best. Remember, several light coats are better than one heavy coat. That's true for winter weather, too, when you're dressing. Hey, while we're sitting here waiting for this paint to dry, this would be a great time for you to subscribe to the channel, to hit the like button, to make a comment, to share the video. Let me know what kind of things you'd like to see, or if you're enjoying the content, or you can just tell me what a crummy welder I am. But seriously, thanks for watching.